Trevor here, Cardboard Cave Podcast. I'm bringing you something else that has nothing to do with board games. Bay, it comes in a cardboard box. And here in the Cardboard Cave, we have a lot of board games. But there's also plenty of Lego. And some Mario love as well. And of course, um, if you've listened to the Retro Bliss podcast, you know I absolutely adore Donkey Kong Country. So I just wanted to do a really quick unboxing of the Lego Super Mario, the first Donkey Kong related set they've done. Um, is set 71424, Donkey Kong's Treehouse. It comes with 555 pieces, retails for $59.99, which is, you know, probably about expected for a theme set like this. Comes with Cranky Kong, Donkey Kong, and his hut, some palm trees, a little bouncy tire, which is very thematic to Donkey Kong, a hammock. Uh, does not come with the electronic Mario. Of course, you need the starter course for that. Here's a better picture of Donkey Kong and Cranky. An actual size of the leaf elements to give you an idea. You know, the size of these things. On the back it shows Mario can actually, you can attach a, a, like a, <laughs> a saddle of some sort to Donkey Kong. And Mario can ride along and apparently interact with Donkey Kong that way. Um, you get some bongo drums, which is very thematic to Donkey Kong. And of course you can build this into a course that's showing you here if you combine it with some of the starter sets. To be honest, I kind of got this just as a standalone Donkey Kong Country set because I love Donkey Kong Country. Here just shows some ways that Mario can interact. Of course, Mario sold separately. <laughs> oh, and there's, looks like a TV and a little boom box and some bananas in his hut. And also a pad you can interact with. All right. So I have not dumped the contents out. I did cut one into the box open just to make this more a more bearable video. But I've not actually dumped it out yet. I've not seen it. But of course it's a Lego set, so it's not going to be built. This is just an unboxing. All right. So we got... Well, that's... I don't think I've seen that piece before. It's like uh, half of a palm tree. I guess that's how they make the bigger palm tree. The hammock is like a rubbery material. That's pretty cool. Let's say everything else is in bags. And we got, let's start with bag number one. Got your brick separator, which any decent size set usually comes with. That looks like the bottom. All right, so here is Donkey Kong's nose, to give you an idea. So he's going to be pretty good size, because there's his nose right there. And, uh... And there's the the bottom of his mouth. So those two pieces together will make up his mouth. So he's going to be pretty pretty good sized. So I'm guessing you're building probably just Donkey Kong with this bag, honestly. Maybe a small accessory or something, but probably just Donkey Kong is going to be in that bag. Oh, that reminds me something I absolutely hate. I was just looking for the instructions, but something I hate about the Super Mario sets. Oh, I hate it so much. You got to either just go online and look at, for instructions, which is, they're right on the Lego website. It's not a big deal. Or scan the app and uh, it takes you through it in an interactive manual. But I would much rather just have a manual. See, there's no manual here. We'll look at this in a second though. Um, yeah, I hate not having a manual. Honestly, I'm kind of over the Super Mario Lego sets. I just, some of them are very cool and it's so cool that we finally have Lego Mario sets. But I just want regular minifigure sets. Like, I'm tired of the course building system. But there are a few standouts. Like, the airship from Super Mario Brothers 3 is great. And it stands alone as a great set. Um, this, I think, pretty much just looks like a Donkey Kong Country set. So, I'm super happy about it. Like, I mean, if you don't attach... See, it shows on the back. Like, I don't know. I, I assume... I don't even think it comes with the flag and stuff. So like all this stuff, you can attach it and make a course out of it. But if you don't do that and just use the pieces that are included, it pretty much just looks like a Donkey Kong Country set. 
I mean, you're not going to have Big Mario here. You can set Donkey Kong there playing the bongos. So, like, this one I'm okay with. And there's a few that are like that. But a lot of them, to me, they're just... I understand they're for kids. I get that. But, you know, as a diehard Nintendo fan, some of the sets in this theme, they're just too much, like, play sets and not enough visual appeal, I guess. That's fine. They're for kids. But I do hope LEGO does eventually release some Mario sets that are just, like, standard minifigure sets. But I'm super happy with this one because it kind of just looks like a set. And Donkey Kong doesn't need to be a minifigure. He's too big to be a minifigure. So I think he looks cool like that. Anyways, back to... Okay, there's some big pieces in this. I'm guessing this is the bulk of the hut itself. Got a crate in there. For the size, for there to be four bags, plus a couple of extras, and the size of some of these pieces... I feel like $59.99 for Lego terms, for overpriced, you know, Lego terms. Eh, it's probably about what I would expect. And I'm sure, like all the Mario sets, if you wait a little bit, you can hop on Amazon or even Lego.com itself. And eventually, it probably will be discounted, you know, 20% or something. Although I have a feeling this one might be popular, at least with, well, the Donkey Kong crowd. Because it does look good on its own. Oh, I love that. So the Kong sign is printed. I really thought that would be a sticker. So major kudos to Lego there. I love it when they're printed and not a sticker. So that's awesome. The Kong sign. Um, oh, here's some of the, like, the beige palm leaves that go above his house. Yeah, really cool. Some bananas in there. And the final bag. Is some of the stuff out front, like where the bongos go. With some more tree building. Probably all the finishing trees and everything. There's the bouncy tire, which is pretty cool. Oh, here's a bunch of bananas. I think this is a brand new piece for this set. At least I've never seen it. Sorry if I can turn it over. Come on, banana. Come out to play. Oh my goodness, every time I move it, it turns over. There we go. It's a bunch of bananas. And it looks like you can attach one of those plates to the bottom that when you sit Mario on it, he reads it. So I'm guessing if you collect the bananas, you get some bonus coins or something. But that's cool. A bunch of bananas. I've not seen that in Lego before. All right. Yeah, looks like some pretty cool stuff. Um, I, I'm excited to build this as a big Donkey Kong fan. Last thing I'll show you, though, there are other Donkey Kong country themed sets. And I love that these aren't just Donkey Kong sets. These are Donkey Kong Country sets. I mean, that hut is definitely Donkey Kong Country. Cranky Kong is Donkey Kong Country. Um, and Diddy Kong, of course, is very much Donkey Kong Country. And he is in some of the other sets. All right, so here's where it shows you some other sets you can buy. What is that one? Sorry, I can't. I'm trying to zoom in. I can't even tell what that is. Yoshi's, I don't think I've seen that set. It's like Yoshi's little fishing hut. That one's new to me. Anyways, there's some non... Yeah, there it is. Like a little fishing hut. I've not seen that one. It's, uh... Seven... I don't know. Is it two different sets? I can't tell. 71360, I guess. Anyways, here's the Donkey Kong sets. This is the one that I'm showing you. Um, of course, without Donkey Kong in it. But see, it kind of just looks like a regular set. And I kind of like this one too. This one has Dixie Kong. Again, this is very much Donkey Kong Country themed. And Squawks, Funky Kong. I love it. It's like she's got a, a DJ table going on there having a party. And I actually think that would look pretty good attached to um, attached to the hut. There's Funky Kong and his balloons, which of course are lives in Donkey Kong Country, and his playing. I like that, honestly. And then the biggest set, unfortunately, I guess, the biggest set probably is the most of a play set and the least displayable. But it's still pretty cool. And I believe it is the one that comes with Diddy Kong. 71360 Minecart Carnage. Um, yeah, it's... Basically, minecart. Ramby, I believe, is on in his own set. That's going to be a must-buy for me. 
yeah, honestly, I kind of like all these overall. Um, I'm not sure how else they could have done a minecart set, and it makes sense to have that for Donkey Kong Country. Um, I'm not sure how displayable that'll be, if there'll be a way to make it look cool in display, or if it's more of just a play set. But overall, I'm just pleased that these are such Donkey Kong Country-centric sets, like that they're not just Donkey Kong in the Mario universe. This is DKC all the way. I love that. Um, yeah, so there you go. Oh, there's that set. Sorry. Great camera work on it. Oh, okay, yeah. So, Conky, Conky, <laughs> Funky and his plane shop, his airplane shop, come with Diddy Kong and the um, minecart set. So, I'm wondering if that's the only way to get Diddy Kong or does he come in one of these other ones? There's Ramby. Ah, uh, so... It's such a tiny picture, even with my naked eye, I can't tell. It's such a tiny picture. I think Ramby is just Ramby. So I'll definitely be getting that one. That's probably like a $10 set. So I guess, unfortunately, if you want Diddy Kong, you're getting this set, but it also comes with Funky Kong's flights. So yeah, that's kind of a must get for me. Oh yeah, there you go. Yeah, 71425, 71425. So those both come the same. All this, including Diddy Kong, comes with this and Funky Kong. And then Rambi's his own little set. So that's cool, and he looks good. Honestly, yeah, I'm pretty pleased with all these. All right, that's enough, though. Thanks. Uh, check out Cardboard K for all your board gaming needs. But also, I'm going to talk about other stuff. And uh, this YouTube channel is just a chance to talk about other stuff. And, um, yeah, thanks for watching.